What do you say, everybody? It's time for your favorite show and ours, Beer with Mick and Brickin. What's up, everybody? This is our during quarantine time after run beer review show. Yep. Hey, look, it was. Uh, it's about 110 degrees down here right now. It's uh, really hot. There's a nice easy breeze, but dang, it is. Uh, it's hot. You know, I always thought we were smart people, but when you run at lunchtime, I, I'm not sure how smart we can be. Yeah, just the way that things worked out, you know, it's like we're kind of pushing to 11 and then it just gets hot and even hotter, but... Uh, well, you know, sometimes you got to get things done in the morning and then lunchtime's kind of the best time to uh, get out and do this. And, uh, you know, look, this is, a, this is an Alabama brewed beer. I'm excited about, about giving it a try. Yep, Cahaba Brewing Company is in Birmingham. We haven't tried them yet. But uh, this is their pale ale, and I know that the, I have a lot of friends that like Cahaba. Cahaba, yep. of course, is a river that runs through Alabama. Did you ever float down the Cahaba when you were in college? Mm -hmm. No. Look, it was a river we used to we used to drive over to, hop on, hop on in an inner tube, and float down float down the rapids. So it was a uh, it was a good time. Would you have had one of these? Uh, it's quite possible I would have had one of those. They were I mean, I don't, I don't really remember it, but yes, it's quite yeah. possible there was a, a cooler that sat in an inner tube <laughs> that floated down beside you. Right. Uh, this brewery opened in, I think, 2011, and then they've expanded. They got popular and expanded, so, um, you know, if you're in that area, you can go by and, and do a tour, and, and I, the, they got a great reputation. Yeah, yeah, they do. Everybody that I've, that I've talked to uh, has, has really enjoyed their beers, and you know, one of the things I, I, like, I like the way the can looks, you know, one of my concerns is in our research was that it was 4.1% alcohol, but, uh, which is less than what you would find in a Mick Ultra, a Miller Lite, uh, anything like that. And what you, uh, in the description here on the can, it says, don't let the low gravity fool you. That's the very first thing it says, and it would have fooled me. Um, our American Pale Ale is a surprisingly full-bodied brew. This, the can in your hand, Holds a small beer with plenty of malt character and a great mouth feel. Pour it up, drink it down, and admire the lacing when it's gone. Well, it has a good fruity type of, uh, of smell to it. Um, Roll Tide Lee, John Adams, we'll get together sometime soon. And look, this is a beer that is, is sold all around the state of Alabama. So, um, you know, anybody can, yeah, yeah it's got a good smell. Good gold color to it. Nice head. Look at that pour right mm. there. It's an A plus. Very full bodied. It's got a it's got a, a lot of hops to it. It's probably probably a medium kick from the hop standpoint. Yeah. It's not I'll, bad. No, it, it, but it's not as good as those California beers though. Well, it's it's not because it's a little bit hoppier. It's not as smooth, and you know. What I, you know, what I don't like about it is it's, you would think this beer would have higher gravity. There'd be more alcohol to it, the way it tastes. It tastes like a beer that's probably six, six and a half percent alcohol content. Yeah. Um, which, I, which honestly, I mean, I'll be honest, like the lower the gravity, to me, the better. Because I, I just don't like having those, these beers sneak up on you. Well, but you know. But I know you're different. You, you like them kind of having a little well, bit Well, I, I, I do like a little bit of kick, but I also, what I love about this is, is, you know, we've talked about this before, these session IPAs, these, these IPAs, everybody loves the taste of the IPAs, and, but they can't drink too many of them because the gravity's so high, yes. you know, it just can't, can't go that far with them. This is a beer that's got a medium hoppy kick to it. It's got low gravity. If, if you just like the flavor, the hoppy flavor, and you don't want to get kicked in the butt by the alcohol content, this is a great beer yeah, to have. Yeah, and I've got a six pack of these, so I'm looking forward to, to having them. That's right. You Look, so, I like this. I mean, it's not my favorite. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but I'm also glad I've got a refrigerator full of these too. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's definitely got its place. It's got that box that it fits into. And, uh, you know, as, as the can says, passion like a river flows <laughs> so what do you score this thing you know i'm gonna give because it's unique i think it's got a uh you know you, you mix in that real hoppiness with the low gravity i'm gonna give it a four yeah i think it's a four me too um i, I think it fits it right in with anybody who's looking to to drink some beer for for the day and then be able to go uh, and, and not be stupid later on. The yeah, perfect. I think it's a 4-2, exact same reason. I like the fact that the gravity is a little bit lower. It's got good flavor, good aroma. It's worth having. A oh, lot going on here. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear Ginger in the background, That's it's time right. to close up That's shop. Right. We'll talk That's to right. you guys tomorrow. See ya.